confirming a Texas healthcare worker does have Ebola. The CDC says the nurse contracted Ebola from Thomas Duncan. He's the Liberian man who died from the disease last week. You have gone into and potentially soiled or contaminated gloves or masks or other things. To remove those without any risk is critically important and not easy to do right. The CDC today announced a multi-step plan to prevent breaches from happening again. We have had these protocols reviewed by the New York State Department of Health and they have deemed them to be effective not only for normal infectious waste but also in the treatment of an Ebola virus should it be on the found in the system. The procedures involve the removal of revenue service equipment like buses and trains for them to be effectively cleaned as well as the isolation of areas where this infection waste may be found in the system. They involve the use of aggressive cleaning agents like bleach, proper use of personnel protective equipment to protect our employees as they perform those tasks. Ebola is so dangerous, my next guess, well, insurance won't even cover him for it. To be the hardest guy in the world to insure, but up until now, you've always gotten insurance. This is the first time our insurance company said just no. Obviously, you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> this is, the CDC has a precautionary level C protective equipment. This is two levels above that. This is a level A suit, which is the highest suit that we have. This is for biohazard terrorism to different types of chemical spills. This is as safe as you're going to get. Wow. And you guys have dealt with anthrax as well as other very dangerous materials before. It would be a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday at our office. Wow. All right, Sal. Good luck with that. It's To me, it's so mind-boggling, but it does underscore just how dangerous this all is. Uh, this is very much a group effort and a coordinative effort. Uh, we've been working very closely with the federal government and the CDC. Uh, this city and this state uh, are probably uh, the most prepared in the country for situations like this. Biorecovery.com, biorecovery.com. Bio Bio Corporation, an organization that has been contracted to deal with Ebola waste. Biorecovery Corporation here on News Radio 840 WHAS. Bio Recovery Corporation. Safety we appreciate the entire recovery corporation. Thank you very much for taking the time and joining us here on the show. Thank you guys.